anywhere, anywhere. They need more police in stations, they need more police roaming streets, they need more police outside clubs, taxi ranks, um, and, not, and I'm not just talking police, ordinary, ordinary police, um, drug squad police. Um, yeah. The, the police need to be outside taxi ranks at night, at closing time. But don't rip the, the, the drug squad cops off their duty. They need poli different police, more police. The government has got to put in so, so many more police on anywhere. They're our front line and they're, they are our most important people, I think, in Australia. I have, I, I work with staff that are married to police. I know what they go through, I know what their wives go through. And who's the first person you ring when you want help? It's a policeman. And they're not there. Trained security guards, dogs on streets, at night, anywhere, all over the coast. Um, Pay your security guards. Just get get them out there. Councils, I know the councils don't like the dogs and police and security guards on the streets of the coast because it makes the councils unhappy because you want tourists here to spend money. You don't want them to see what goes on in the darker hours while you are safe in bed. You say our kids are safe. That is that is this is a random occasion. It's not, and you know that. My rates have gone up to $2,000 this year. Why can't some of that money go towards security? Why can't some of that money go onto the streets to help these, to, to protect our children? Parents need to teach your kids about alcohol and drugs and tell them if a problem arises when they're out and about, like Josh got out to help his mate, and I wish to God Josh hadn't got out to help his mate. Just run like hell. I, my daughter says, don't let it, you can't say that, but if he hadn't got out to help his mate, if he had stayed in that bloody cab and gone, he'd be alive today. Fighting's not worth dying for. Teachers, you've got a big job. The kids talk about, you need to talk to kids about violence and the actions of it. If teachers see a problem, to talk to the parents. If there's no result or response from the parents, then the teachers need to get professional help, not just let it go. Um, my aim is in all this, and I'm really pleased that you're all here tonight. I never want to see another parent go through this. I don't want another phone call from any parent at 3 o'clock in the morning to say that your child's dead and on life support, or a tube stuck down his throat where they've been trying to resuscitate him. And I just with all the boys that have been around in my place in the last week, the most beautiful 22-year-old boys crying with flowers in their arms, the only thing I've said to them is to go home, hug your mum, hug your dad, tell them that you love him, love the boys, the boys love mum, dad. And the last thing that Josh said to me was, I love you, mumsy. And that's something that I'll never forget.